All right, on tonight's episode of After Hours, it's Guys Night. We'll be talking to Jamin and Shane, plus we'll have a brand new contest. Stay tuned. All right, whether you are tuning in live or watching us on demand, I want to thank you for joining us for this broadcast of After Hours. If you're watching live, you're going to get the best experience because you can use the chat room just to my left to talk to some of the guys from the show who aren't on here with us by video. You can chat and ask them your questions. Right now, I see Casey. He's still in the game, and he's also in the chat room right now. I see Devin, who was eliminated a few weeks ago. Feel free to shout out to those guys and ask them anything you want. Uh, on tonight's show, we'll be giving you a full recap of Love Games episode number six. Plus, we'll have an interview with the eliminated guy, the one that went home, the one you didn't see coming, that plot twist. Jamin Olivencia is here. Plus, we'll be talking to Shane Steinman. He's still in the game. He's going to have a lot to say about Taylor, Danny, and everything that's been going on around the house. Plus, we have some exclusive footage from the next episode of Love Games that you will only see right here on After Hours. And as I promised, a whole new contest where you can win one of my minion neck chains. So stay tuned for that as well. So tonight's episode was entitled X Marks the Spot. And I might have gotten out of this show just in time because a lot of the guys were really cornered on this one. Um, the, the guys were forced to basically compete for love in front of their exes and uh, one of the components of the HBIC challenge was for each of the guys to kiss uh, one of the three bad girls and uh, Taylor actually refused to kiss Danny which caused a lot of trouble. He claims uh, it was out of respect for his ex who was there but Jamin on the other hand did not hesitate. Take a look. A challenge that entailed us kissing a hot girl, I mean, <laughs> come on, this is gonna be easy, right? I'm thinking at this point, let's take advantage of this, let's take it home now, this is our chance to win. Your 20 seconds starts right now, go! This challenge is a little awkward because Jamin's ex is sitting right there, but I have a problem and it's kissing guys and I just want to really, really win. All right, you just saw things with Jamin and Amy getting hot and heavy. Uh, I think that uh, Andre also made out with Camila and stole the show with that one. Uh, we will talk to Jamin in just a moment. He is here live. Jamin, give everybody a little wave. Let him know you're out there. There he is. There's the man. We're going to come back and talk to Jamin in just a moment, right after we get through this wrap-up. Now, uh, this HBIC challenge was all about the guys performing in front of their exes. Whether they still had a connection there or not was really what this was all about. And Taylor refused to compete in this contest, and Danny was furious. Now, he claims that it was out of respect for his ex, that he wouldn't do that whether he was with a girl or not. But to me and everybody else that was watching, I'd have to say he still had feelings for that girl. Uh, Camila ended up winning HBIC, and she got to choose the dates, and everybody went out to uh, Catalina Island for the dates tonight. And uh, it wasn't as exciting as some of the dates we've seen in past episodes, but I think this episode was really about that elimination room tonight, where you guys saw that things can really change at the drop of a hat. Now, each week, uh, the girl who is HBIC gets an envelope. This week, it was Camila. And they're told not to open that envelope until they get into elimination. Well, tonight, Camila put up Shane and Joey and Andre, and, well, the monster twist came. She opened up that envelope, and she had the ability to actually swap out one of the guys. Now, it proves that what you say in that elimination room can be used against you. Now, last week, Danny went hard on bad girl Danny because he thought there was nothing to lose. And Andre sort of followed suit this time by trashing Camila. But then she gets the power to save one of the guys and swap them out. She chooses Joey over Andre because of some of the things that Andre said while Joey sort of uh, kept his cool and didn't lose his temper. Now, Joey goes back and brings Jamin in who was totally shocked. He thought he was free and clear and safe. He wasn't even dressed up like the other guys. And suddenly he's pulled back into elimination, which makes you wonder what could happen next. Uh, anyways, Jamin ended up going home. And uh, here's a last look at Jamin on Love Games. After this, we'll come um, back and talk to him. 
Here I am, ladies. Um, my heart is open to each of you girls, it is. I want to be here, I want to play this game. You guys are all playing this game very well. That's all I can say. All right, Amy and Danny, who do you want to eliminate? I want to eliminate Jamin. Amy. I'm going to go with Jamin. I'm deciding to save Dre over Jamin because Jamin, he's an actor. He could easily be acting right now. So I'm not really buying it. Jamin, you played a good game, but unfortunately, your love game is over. All right, we have the man here himself. He might be out of the love game's house, but he is here tonight on After Hours. Jamin, how's it going, brother? Hey, what's going on, Josh? Uh, uh, number one, let me just uh, start off by saying that this show you have is awesome. And uh, I think anybody that's logging in right now is in for a treat, and we're going to have a good time. So, no, thanks for having me. Uh, to all the people that have uh, been supporting Love Games, up to is going to continue to support Love Games. Uh, you know, God bless you. You guys are awesome. Thanks for being such great fans. Hell yeah, and if you guys want to ask Jamin anything, you can tweet us at hashtag LGAfterHours, and we'll try to get as many of those as we can on the show. Now, Jamin, you were safe. You were sitting in the waiting room. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I think each week, we thought as soon as the nominations were made that we were safe, right? If you weren't in that elimination room, you had nothing to worry about. You were chilling on the couch with the rest of the guys, no. and they pulled you back into that world. I, yeah, you know. Uh, what did that uh, feel like? Yeah, man. Uh, First off, I got to say this too. I hate that I was wearing those clothes. Like that was the most random <laughs> put together that day because we didn't do our laundry. You know how it had, we had to wait a little bit to get our laundry done. So <laughs> I was so. I remember being in the elimination room. I go, I can't fucking go home because these clothes. Like I can't go home looking like this. I look like sh <laughs> shit. It's like I ended walking up going into a home. So I thought it was just funny on. how it happened. <laughs> So, Jamin, you ended up going home because Camila claims that she didn't have a connection to you, which is odd because she put Joey up in the first place. If she felt like she wasn't connected to you, it almost would make sense to you for you to have already been in there. But I guess some of the things that the guy said changed her mind. Uh, would you have changed anything about the way you played the game? you have any regrets? Uh, you know, not really, dude. I mean, what the heck, man? Kid from Buffalo, New York goes in there and does pretty good. No, I did, I did okay, I thought, you know. Uh, uh, would I change some things? Sure. Maybe I'd change my relationships with the girls a little bit. Uh, you know, maybe actually uh, gave a shit when I, uh, when I needed to. But I think, it, I think what really hurt me uh, was my, my lack of game. I, my, you know, it started, I started getting, I, I wasn't motivated anymore. You know, um, I just wasn't into them like that. And uh, it's tough, you know, it's tough to pretend all the time, you know. Uh, so. Yeah, you know, speaking of pretending, um, you were accused of being an actor on the show, and it's funny because you were Team Amy, and I was Team Amy as well, and yet she seems to have this trust issue week after week. She's sending home guys who are Team Amy, and her excuse for me was that uh, I was a magician, she couldn't trust me, I was always up to no good, and uh, with you, she called you an actor. Uh, how do you feel about her saying that it was all an act, Jamin? Well, I don't know. I think it's ridiculous. I, uh, you know, to say I'm an actor is 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 heinous. Uh, like I was going to go in the house and actually be myself and and make people really get to know me. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, now you have the belt there, oh, Jamin. That's not uh, some Thank trinket. What was that? Uh, no, uh, Amy, I, I see her point, I guess, but I mean, at the same time, she got rid of somebody who had a legitimate connection with her. So she had the opportunity on her side, and she had the opportunity to win the game with me, uh, you know, but uh, just it just didn't work out for me like that, and, you know. Yeah, inside the house, Jamin, you and I were actually known as Amy's minions. I don't yeah, know if you remember like, that. We were, dude, because we were accused of Amy, feeding her we information. Team Amy. Fuck Camila, fuck Danny. I was like, I'm all about this Amy. I'm going to go after it. And, uh, you know, just in the end, it just wasn't played correctly. So whatever. <laughs> it was fun, though. Uh, Jamin, we actually have a couple of fan questions we're going to go to real quick. Uh, we'll get some of these pulled up. These are from Twitter, and you can tweet us your questions at hashtag LG After Hours. The first question for you, Jamin, comes from Trinice Lene. That's at Trina Lene on Twitter. She says, uh, my question, 
Were any of you guys there to find love or for the perk of being on TV? Can you speak to, uh, you know, why you were there, Jamin, and what you thought about the other guys as well? I'm so, uh, uh, the first thing, but I heard the second thing. What'd you say, Josh? You cut out? Yeah, her question was, were you there to be on TV or were you there to find love? No, come on, get real. Uh, we're there to find love, you know? Why, 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 all these guys were on there to find love. The problem was the girls that were on the show were just girls you can't fall in love with. So I don't know, <laughs> man. It, it was just one of those situations, I thought. Uh, so that's how I felt. The guys, I love the guys. I thought all the dudes were cool, you know? Like Shane, if you're, you're on this and you can hear me, hey, man, what's up, dude? Wink. <laughs> You'll know what I'm talking about. And uh, Casey, uh, Josh, I don't even know if you remember. Remember when we came up with that song? Like, uh, I forgot how it went. But uh, dun, 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 dun. that's what it was. I don't know if you guys remember that. But uh, Casey, uh, Brand New Life, you guys are in the room. Hey, man, you just heard that. So I, I remember it. I still remember the song. But no, I thought everyone was cool. You know, I, I, I thought, you know, Mo was kind of a I thought Danny was an idiot, you know, uh, I don't know, some guys I just weren't impressed with, but for the most part, they're all good dudes, it's just a matter how you play the game, that's all, That's that was the main focus. So yes, I was there to find love. So you didn't end up finding love, uh, and you were Team Amy just based on strategy, uh, but how did you feel about each of the girls? Attraction aside, I guess. Attraction aside? Yeah, what was your read on each girl and how they're playing the game? I, you know... I don't know. I thought Danny was shooting her load too fast, and she's, you know, she's 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 already all over Shane. So I don't know. I didn't I didn't think it was too smart, you know. But whatever. Uh, we'll see if it catches catches up to her or not. But uh, Camila, I thought Camila was too strong. Camila made you feel like you she was this like queen, you know, and and you had you had to bow down to her. And I don't know. I just think if you're looking for somebody for love, uh, you can't find it with that girl because you'll never make her happy you know uh but she was nice you know she was cool uh camille was more like one of those girls I, it was funny because she said she didn't have a connection with me and i didn't have a connection with her either you know she was just cool to talk to but it just not not the right girl for me or the bad girl even you know uh and then uh amy i thought amy was cool you know she was she was the only girl in the house i felt like i really connected with uh whether she was pretending or not whatever uh you know we had a good connection it was fun and, uh, you know, uh, she ended up uh, getting rid of me in the end. But uh, so that made me, I guess, change my opinion on her a little bit and question her, uh, you know. <laughs> strategy. But, yeah, I questioned her strategy. But, hey, you know, we'll see what happens for her, too. And we have one more question here. And uh, this is for you again, Jamin. This is from Kenya underscore B. She says, who were you most attracted to? We're talking physical attraction here. Your mind was everywhere, she says. You know, believe it or not, Danny. Danny was hot. Yeah, and you know, the other thing about Danny is she was probably the most real inside the house. You know, this drama you see with her and Shane? Yeah, you know what? It comes I, from the fact that she actually cares. And yeah, so a lot of people misinterpret that as weakness, but the truth is, she really was there to find love. And I guess we'll see how that works in her favor or not yeah. as this sort of evolves. Look, I mean, dude, Danny is, she, I, that's one thing about her. She was, she was real as fuck, man. And, uh, you don't, it's it, that whole, when you're in that house and you know what I'm talking about, it's just like lies all day <laughs> and it's right. exhausting. It's so exhausting. And, uh, it was always nice to talk to her once in a while because she, she can always, you know, she can always, she can always open up and be real. The problem was she was always with Shane. Ah, so anyway, team Amy. <laughs> Jamin, we have one more question. This is our final fan question for you. This is from Brittany Kanaik. Kanaik. Kaniak. Brittany Kaniak. That's what I'm going to go with. This is for Jamin. What was your favorite part of doing love games? Uh, my favorite part of doing love games. Uh, the experience, the whole overall experience, you know, to... Uh, you get to go to California out in the middle of nowhere in some mountains in a mansion with these crazy people that you have <laughs> you have no idea what they're capable of, but they are all insane in their own way, and it's <laughs> awesome. Uh, so it's just an amazing, I don't know, the whole experience is just amazing. I, there, you can't really pick apart things like that. Those are just things in life that come and you, uh, you, you just hold on to them and you're glad they happen, you know, and you're ready for the next one. 
So it was just an amazing experience. I don't know. Well, speaking of the next one, Jamin, uh, what are you up to? You had uh, your belt out a moment ago, and I know that you actually just became the TV champion for OVW Wrestling. Hey. Uh, what else is going on? What are you working yeah. on? Uh, nothing, man. Just uh, I'm working on a lot of things. Uh, I, I just got done doing the, uh, theater in Dallas. It was called The Elaborate Entrance of Chad Deity. Uh, I, I was an actor and choreographer the, for the fights and the play, and uh, it was a lot of fun. It was in Dallas. I was there for two months. Uh, I just came back to Louisville now, came OVW Television Champion. Uh, I've got some talks with uh, the, the big company. We'll see what happens in the new year, so expect some stuff. Uh, nothing I can really talk about right now. However, uh, yeah, that's that's. I just got things coming, and I'm doing I'm doing the best I can, man. And uh, just expect a lot from Jamin Olivencia. Trust me, I, I got something special, and you're all gonna love it. Well, if people want to keep up with you, Jamin, uh, where can they do that at? What's your uh, name on Twitter and your okay, Facebook that, website, all that stuff? All right now, everyone, grab a <laughs> grab a piece of paper and pen because this is annoying. So my first name is Jamin. That's J J A M I N, and my last name is Olivencia. So that's O L I V is in Victor E N C I A. That's Jamin Olivencia at Jamin Olivencia. Same thing with Facebook. Add me. Let's become friends. Hey, man, I, I really appreciate everyone, all their support. People are awesome. And um, I'm going to finish drinking this martini. <laughs> so, Jamin, inside the Love Games house, you were famous for uh, giving us a bit of uh, color commentary. Uh, before you take uh, off tonight, could you uh, cut a quick uh, promo for Love Games uh, after hours? Oh, okay. What was it? Okay, give me the instructions. Well, I was saying inside the house, you were known for your, co your color commentary, uh, your, your wrestling voice. And uh, I would love for you to do a kick-ass promo for After Hours right now. Okay. Can I, uh, I mean, do we have time to do this? I might make it fun. Is that okay? Go for it. Perfect. Okay. Um. <laughs> hey, can I? <laughs> I don't know what to expect with this guy. Can you all see me? Yeah. Are we sure? <laughs> okay. So. Uh, oh, hang on a second. <laughs> hang on a second. Where is he going? Jamie. <laughs> All right. Can I start? Go. Hmm. This is getting weird, but I like it. Let me think. So. How can Jamin Olivencia make love games money? Well, love games, after hours, time and time again, you've given someone on the ball, and all they've done is drop it. Well, I'm here to tell you after hours that Jamin Olivencia is not that guy. That Jamin Olivencia is the guy who made the ball, took it to two Super Bowls, signed it, and put it on the shelf just for kicks. That me, Jamin Olivencia, is a man of emotion. A man of feeling. A man of drama. <laughs> so, if that doesn't go viral, I don't know what will. Is that for hours? Viral like herpes, maybe. I think the only question, Josh, that's left to be asked is, can't we make money with Jamin? Olivencia, lovegamesafterhours.com. Thanks. All right. That's all I got. Sorry. All right, Jamin. Thanks for coming on, man. I don't want to. I, I <laughs> we'll be hearing was... more from you, I'm sure. That's stupid. <laughs> all right, brother. Take it easy. All right. All right. Coming up in just a moment, we'll be talking live with Shane Steinman. But before we do, we have some exclusive footage from next week's episode, episode seven of Love Games. You'll only see it right here. In Love Games, we're trying to find out the price of love, and this week it gets very expensive. Check it out. We have a fun in the sun romper that can be dressed up for the club or kept casual. Now guys, this is a package deal. We have a necklace, romper, and we have a belt and a set of earrings. I know Danny likes this dress, so I'm gonna do my best to get her this. 300. 325. 350. I'm gonna go for. $400 going once. 
I'm noticing that Taylor hasn't even raised his paddle once. This is the second challenge in a row he's about to throw. Taylor. Hello, Taylor. You know that I want that black romper. What's going on? Tyrone, it's so to you, sir. Tyrone spends $1,000 in less than 30 minutes. And I'm like, go, dude. You're winning my heart right now. All right, so you saw right there, it was all about the bankroll, and Ty Tyrone went hard on that one. And uh, Taylor chose to sit another one out. Um, but right now, I'm pretty happy to say that we have uh, Taylor's nemesis here. We have uh, one of the fan favorites this year, Shane Steinman. Shane, what's going on, man? What up, man? What's going on? Hey, thanks for coming on. We just talked to Jamin, and he said uh, to tell you what's up. Yo, Jamin, keep wrestling something, brother. <laughs> 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 you missed his ridiculously crazy promo. I think the guy's I'm a sure. Killer. I'm sure it was quite entertaining. I'm sure it was. So, congrats on surviving another elimination, bro. Uh, you uh, you made it out with flying colors, and they swapped out Joey for Jamin, which to you guys in the house must have been a shocker, right? You Man, thought you were safe sitting in the waiting room, and suddenly you realize even after nominations are made, you might not be safe. Man, right when they came down to pull Jamin out of there, you knew, like, even this far into the season, that it was, it was just a hell of a twist. And it's just not going to stop from here. It was nuts. I wasn't, and that I was, must have got you guys inside the house thinking, like, you know, each week now, like, all bets are off, right? Oh, man. Like, you think you're safe, but you have no idea. It just, it's, it'll throw you under the bus so fast. Yeah. Uh, we're going to get to some fan questions in just a moment, Shane. But if you guys have a question for Shane, I want you to tweet it at us with hashtag LG After Hours, and we'll try to get to as many questions as we can, but I have a few of my own for you, Shane. Oh, um, there is this rivalry between you and Taylor. What is at the center of this? Is this just two guys that just don't get along, or is this over Danny? What's this about? Well, first of all, Taylor's a little bitch, and he just, he, I don't know what it is, man, but he, he really knows how to like find a way to push my buttons. He just, I don't know. It's this whole meaner. It's this whole little pretty boy bullshit. I just want to drown him or something. Come to my, come to my coast with that shit. He's just, like, I don't Shane, know. Shane, I like you. Shane, something, I don't know what your problem is. I just, just, I just want to tell you before you go into elimination, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you when I'm, you go home, Shane. Choke him out with his own bow tie. I, just could, I can't stand him. I don't know what it is. and I, I'm not the only one that felt that way, but I'm the only one that spoke up about it and actually like... I don't know, try to go after his ass. Trust me, man, if we, if we were allowed to throw some hands in that house, he would have been knocked out quite a long time ago. Easily. So what you're trying to say is it was because he had long hair. I mean, yeah. People say he looks, <laughs> we look exactly the same, but nah, man, he doesn't have, he doesn't have the same like, swagger that I got. He's just, he's just a pretty little Alabama boy. He ain't got All nothing. Right. He ain't got shit on me. I'm not worried about it. Well, Taylor's been in hiding since this season of Love Games started. Nobody's seen or heard he, from him on he, Twitter well, or Facebook. The guy is a ghost. Well, uh, but in this in episode, face. during the HBIC challenge, the ex-girlfriends came in, and Taylor actually refused to kiss Danny. How do you think that affects him going forward? Not good. Um, no matter what it is, if you're going to claim, if you're going to claim to be on somebody's team there, and you just kind of just give up on the affectionate part of the of the whole contest then it, it goes to show that you're really not there for anybody just for yourself it just i don't know it was really really selfish of what he did and i should i should instead of holding up my ex i should have went in for the intimate part of it but i don't know after cammy after cammy's kiss i don't think anybody would have won that no i don't think so either <laughs> That was a uh, we're going to go to a couple of fan questions for you, Shane, in just a moment. Uh, but one last thing. Now, we've seen week after week that you obviously have a strong connection with Danny. And Danny's actually here in the chat room tonight. Um, but lately, over the past few episodes, things have been developing with Amy. Is that uh, just pure strategy or is there a connection forming there as well? Well, me and Danny, the whole time in that house, have always been like, had each, other, had each other's back. I care a lot about Danny. I still care a lot about Danny. But you got to understand, this is not just Danny and Shane's show. This is a competition. So I had to step away from Danny, and while I'm letting Danny know that I'm here for her, I have to work the other girls. It's it's not that simple to just like just drop somebody. So if you I want mean, to win, you have, have to let me go. Yeah, exactly. I mean, at the same time, me and Amy were really cool together. We really like had a connection. She's from Florida. I'm from Florida. She went. She this is a Florida State girl. I'm a Seminole. We all we had a great time together, but I had a more of an uh, an attraction towards Danny. She was more of my style. A little, I don't know, just was. I don't. I'm not a big blonde hair, big boob kind of guy. I like the I like the darker girls. 
little Latinas, and uh, I don't know. But have you seen her since the show ended, Danny? Yeah. Yeah, we hung out in Hollywood uh, when she came out here to do some things for Oxygen, but uh, she didn't exactly give me the time of day. She was kind of mean to me, but we won't get into that. Yeah, and Denny came on wa last week, and she said she's actually seen an entire different side of you watching the show. I guess some of the things that she didn't catch in person, she's seen now, and I think your kiss with uh, Amy is one of those things that really got under her skin. I mean, um, we're going to go to some fan questions now, and uh, this first one here, Shane, is from Rappy Tans. He says, Rappy Shane, how do you feel about seeing yourself playing Danny on TV? Man, listen, it's a game, guys. I'm not playing. I'm playing the game at the same time. I'm not watching myself be like this 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 hardcore whore here. I'm 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 networking. I'm making sure that I'm gonna be in the end with Danny. That's my whole game plan the whole time. It's to hustle these girls to win with Danny. That was my whole plan. The I'm whole gonna tell time. my girlfriend that. Baby, I was networking. It wasn't <laughs> it wasn't what it looked like. I'll tell him all that. I mean, no, I'm just kidding. But, <laughs> but no, man, I really wanted to win with Danny. That was like my whole thing here. And it just kinda went it just at the, at the moment, you know, it's, it is what it is. Well, there's still two more episodes to go, and uh, I'm sure a chance for that relationship with Danny to recover or uh, evolve in some way. Uh, we're going to go to another fan question here for you, Shane. It says, from Daisy Ruma. Oh, God. Did you I go know into her. the show expecting to make a connection with someone or just to play the game? I came, I came out of a fight really literally. Hey Shane, we're uh, losing your audio for a second. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Shane, you there? Yeah, I'm there. Can you hear me? Okay, bro, the question is, did you go into the show expecting to find a connection with someone or just to play the game? Before I did Love Games, I was in a five-year relationship, a okay. year of being broken up. So I went to love games as in this could be my my other chance to actually find somebody, find like a nice connection, even if it turns into friendship and then it turns into something stronger. So I went into love games as an awesome awesome thing to find find a girl maybe of my dreams or something to always give somebody a shot. I'm never ashamed to to like give anybody an opportunity, let alone myself to find love. So yes, I went into love games and possibly find a relationship. You know? Yeah, I mean, but there's no denying it was also an awesome experience. And that's what our next question is about. Uh, Cassidy Bonovich, Cassidy X95 on Twitter says, what were your favorite and least favorite parts about being on Love Games, Shane? Well, I'll tell you right now, my least favorite about being Love Games is the universal world for the production team is hurry up and wait. The worst. <laughs> and all you guys and all you girls know about this behind the scenes. It sucks, man. There's a lot of waiting around. Everything that you see, there's a lot more to it. There's a lot that they don't show. There's a lot. But it was – and then the best thing, man, has got to be like the competitions we did and going to Catalina and going to the beach. I mean I'm a beach kid. I'm a, I'm a surfer kid. So going to the beach and I haven't seen it in like two weeks was, blew my mind. I loved it. I was eating sand basically. I was so happy. So there's a lot of, <laughs> I, had a, I had a blast doing it, man. And to tell you the truth, I would love to do it again. I, I had a great time. I have no regrets. Yeah, you and me both, man. Uh, it's funny, I think when you watch these kind of shows, especially before I had done television myself, it looks like all these people do is get drunk and party on camera. But the truth is, that was like 10% of our time inside the house. And uh, most of what you didn't see was us sitting in a van or sitting on a curb uh, yes. where we weren't allowed to talk to each other, just waiting for something to happen. It's kind of funny. Mic'd up. Everybody was on ice. Ice means no talking. That sucks. But you know what? <laughs> I had a blast, man, and I loved meeting all of you guys, and I, I still love the girls. I still talk to everybody for the most part, except for Taylor. You can't find him. I think he's dead. <laughs> well, he might watch this. Do you have any uh, last words for Taylor? Taylor, man, honestly, I know you're probably a great guy, and you're probably doing real well down in Alabama with all your little frat and sorority bitches, but you're still a little bitch in my book, man, and if I ever had boxing gloves... I wouldn't even let you wear them. I would wear boxing gloves, and I'd still knock you the fuck out. But it is what it is. Maybe we could get that on an episode of After Hours. You guys could come in here, duke it out in the studio, because we don't have any rules <laughs> or bouncers. If you can find them. Okay, I'm going to work on it.
I don't know. I don't like that. Maybe you know. guys out there in internet land could track him down. Mm -hmm. We use the power of numbers. If you can find Taylor Fortenberry, kidnap him, bring him here to Washington, D.C., I'll get Shane here, and we'll have a cage match. Damn right. After Damn hours. right. I'm down. Whenever you guys are ready. I don't want to hurt that pretty <laughs> little face, though, so he's got to wear a, a face mask. All right, man. Well, I want to thank you for coming on the show tonight. Obviously, you're still in the game, and I want to congratulate you for that, bro. You're playing it. And hey, uh, there's two more episodes Next episode, left, so guys, good luck to you, Shane. crazy. That's all I got to say. You get ready for this one. That's it's going to be nuts, man. I can't believe I'm still here. I really thought this episode I was gone. Yeah, anything uh, without saying too much uh, or revealing anything, um, anything for the fans to look forward to? We showed the, uh, a clip of the auction. Things probably got pretty crazy and intense there. Um, one thing for the, uh, for the audience, that all that money was ours, and we had to spend everything on these women so enjoy it so I had Tyrone a really spent a thousand dollars oh yeah all that shit was ours uh, so watch the money go up and watch our bank accounts go down so all right, if folks want to keep up with you where can they do that uh, website Twitter Facebook all that stuff definitely on Facebook you can go to facebook.com uh, slash Shane love games um, it's my fan page go chat with me I'll write you right back I love chatting with my fans you guys are my favorite uh, you got Twitter um, at Shane Steinman Real simple. Um, I love I love talking to you guys. Just keep on going. Put me out there. And then Instagram. I hit my thousand follower on Instagram today because of you guys, and I love it. Um, at Shaner Boehner Er. So Shaner Boehner Er. So look at me. Find me. Keep in touch. Let's make this shit happen. Watch All out, right, man. Thanks for coming on. We'll talk to you soon. All right, bro. Take it easy, Josh. All right. So there you have it. An interview with Shane and with Jamin. And as Shane said, things only get more interesting from this point forward. You guys saw a little teaser of next week's episode. And if you want to see more exclusive Love Games content, go to the official website, lovegames.oxygen.com. And that's the best place for you to find all of your Love Games content. Usually, after the episode airs, they'll place uh, extended dates on the website. You can see some of the stuff that got cut out, extended interviews, and they also give you a lot of sneak peeks and exclusive content for the upcoming episodes. Now, you also can check out our website, which is lgafterhours.com. That's the place where you can wind, watch all the past episodes of this show, so if you've missed some of the episodes. Now, we're going to do one more giveaway before the show ends. Last week, we gave you a chance to win one of my minion neck chains. We're going to do that again, and the way that you guys can do that is by tweeting me or by posting a comment below this video on YouTube or a comment on lgafterhours.com with your best pickup line. So give me your best pickup line, and I'll choose two of the funniest to win one of the Minion Neck Chains. I'll also be posting on my Twitter account who won last week's contest, so make sure you follow me there. I'm at It's Josh Norris. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you next Monday with some more exclusive Love Games content, an interview with the next eliminated guy or guys, and a lot more, and we'll have a special guest as well. See you soon.